Oh, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to my channel this morning. Today is February 28th, and I am still in Stockholm, and of course, and um, I can tell you right now that it is so cold here. It's minus 14, and, um, and I have a new hairstyle, which I'm working on new hairstyles all the time because this haircut is like not easy to work with because it hangs in my face in the studio, but anyway, I am here this morning to shine my light with you and to let you know that the best thing you can do is keep that light shining bright for everybody, okay? As much as you can, but also recognizing that that light goes a little dimmer, but it never goes out. It will never ever go out. And I'm here also to introduce you to my monkey. <laughs> This is my monkey and my <laughs> <laughs> This is my monkey and he represents the mind, okay? And sometimes the mind has its own agenda. And it will absolutely monkey 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 around and monkey 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 around. And let me tell you something. That will come and go as it does. When you meditate and you if you happen to take the opportunity and ha take the silence for yourself and meditate, you'll recognize that the monkey is like over here and over here and over here and over here. <laughs> of course, it's a metaphor, but this is not a metaphor because mm, 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 mm. I embrace him and he is always there and always constant, but sometimes he is only sticking his little head out. <laughs> It's only his little, his little head out, and he just makes his appearance, and sometimes he's like this, and sometimes he's like this, so in your face. All you out there really know, you know, all you have to do is be as you are, okay? And just be as you are, and let your little sh light shine, regardless if that monkey is there. And sometimes it's more difficult than other times. For sure, absolutely. But I'm here to tell you this morning that it is the way of dealing with everything and realizing that light ain't ever gonna go out. As much as you try for it to, even if you like mm, mm, your wrist and get rid of yourself, that light is still gonna shine because people are gonna still remember you, okay? So, I am just in a very optimistic mood this morning as I often find myself because I am so grateful and I appreciate life so much. And um, anyway, I'm just here to share my humor this morning. We are listening to uh, Spotify, um, as we do, and um, this is Acoustic Winter and how appropriate because people, people, I used to live here in Sweden. I lived here for four years, three years in Gothenburg and one year in Stockholm. This is my fifth country, and I can tell you, I also used to live in Canada, and I remember when I lived in Canada, and I was a little ballet dancer, and I was going to the National Ballet of Canada, and I remember right before I would leave to go to work one day, we were doing Nutcracker, and like, you know, <laughs> Nutcracker, Nutcracker. I used to dance Nutcracker, because I'm a classical ballet dancer. One day, I was leaving for work, and I remember turning on the TV, and uh, we didn't have internet back then. <laughs> That's how old I am. But I am grateful for my age. But I remember turning on the TV once before, going to work, and it said, if you do not cover your flesh, it'll freeze. <laughs> literally, literally, it will freeze. And I was like, I don't have a mask to put on my face, so this thing is gonna crack. And um, at that age, how old was I? was like 23 or 22 or something like that. <laughs> In my early, early 20s, and I can tell you that it was really super cold, and my nose was like, I think my nose felt like it was glass and gonna fall off my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thinking back on those days was like, uh, naivete 101, I can tell you. Not about the cold, but basically about just life in general. What a perspective to look back on that. Working with a classical company right now, it brings back a lot of memories. So I'm in the studio working with a lot of young dancers. Obviously, they're all younger than me. <laughs> but I feel as young as them, and I'm gonna keep that going as long as I can because I am playful and I am uh, respectful 
to myself and respectful to those guys and I'm, I can feel where they're coming from um, some of the times and just learning and being green you know not everybody is green at that age but you know it is for sure something to uh, to recognize when you get older um, and I was saying to someone yesterday that um, I would not go back one day because I appreciate my life so much getting older because I just become more wise with myself. Now, this monkey mind just said, <laughs> oh, you're wise. You're more wise now. Well, that's what happens. You have a lot of experiences to do when you're like 20 years old, you know, and this guy is like basically like attached and inside your head and he sits there and he's like inside your head and he <laughs> that monkey is attached to your head sometimes and you don't know where to go. Should I go right? Should I go left? Should I go forward? Should I go backwards? I don't know. Sometimes we go backwards, you know, but sometimes you got to let him be and then he will just, as you get older, he kind of sinks down here and he gets a little bit lower and he just goes and you feel less monkey and you feel more centered. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> just a little joke. But seriously, aging is a wonderful thing and aging is so good. So all you young people out there, I know, you know, some of you right now, you're feeling, you, I'm sure you're feeling like really, sometimes really, really like, I don't know, insecure. The insecurity is the gift in the sense of recognizing how you can learn to be secure. You don't really have to do anything, but you're going to have to do something. Or you're going to have to go through life and go through experiences. The experiences will teach you so much. I'm only speaking from experience because my experiences have taught me. I have been through so much in my life as well as every single other person on this planet because that's why we're here. We're here to go through shit and to get through the forest and let ourselves feel, feel scared and feel like, oh my God, there is no way that I'm gonna be able to do this. And I can't believe that she did this to me or that he did this to me. And there, the blame shame game is like for a while. But as soon as you recognize that play, oh, it's music opportunity, hold on. What is, wait, hold on, let me, let me I wanna do a duet. I am friends with my monkey mind. When that shame and blame game happens, you will start to recognize that it's just absolutely a play. And that monkey mind will subside. Well, maybe it won't subside because it always ri rises. And when it rises, there's an opportunity to realize that Someday there will come a day when there's no more shame and blame on others for your existence. That's really um, kind of like we are in a trance. Some people are really in a trance in reality, in their reality of their world because they believe that they are that monkey in the mind and they believe that what has been done to them as victims <laughs> And I want to laugh about it because it's really not all that serious, but we make it serious and we become victims of circumstance and we become victims of our families and our schools and the bullying and it seems really real. And then sometimes people believe so much in that monkey mind that they kill each other because they just can't stand their own existence. You know, it is part of that way and sometimes it feels like you can feel suicidal. Now I'm not talking about clinical depression because I know that that's real and um, we don't really talk about it enough and we like push people away that are feeling like that and sometimes we just absolutely just ignore those kind of things and we concentrate on more about money. Well the governments and everything that we think all of this conspiracy that is around us is a reality but there's an opportunity. I think there's an opportunity. I don't want to get too serious right here because I, I just not, I don't want to be in that kind of mood today and I don't want to project that. But anyway, what is real and what is not real? That monkey mind in yourself and the victimhood is not real because you can rise above all of that. 
and you can realize that you can continue to play in your life and you can continue to invite the light and shine that light that is yours. Now it is a journey because you can't see the forest for the trees. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just simply like that. But by accepting that and loving that and really appreciating that, you will get through that stuff. Let me tell you my friends, you will get straight through that stuff and you will feel so um, worthy. And not worthy in the ego sense because the ego is a trap also too. But you can't get rid of the ego because the ego is like really wants to drag you down. And it really will try to do that. But when you realize that, that trap and you start going through that and allowing those things to happen and that dark side to come, then you can see the light right through that because you can't know one thing without the other. I will remind you of that, that right now. You can't know one thing without the other. So, these polarized experiences that we have, dark and the light, oh! Oh, such a beautiful song. What is it talking about? It's a relationship, you know, like someone else is going to completely complete you. This is Ed Sheeran and I am not ever going to be able to like, um, I gave up a long time ago that my YouTube channel will be used as, as, um, that I'll make money from my YouTube channel. Uh, fuck that because whatever. I don't need to make money from my YouTube channel. I have money. Anyway, um, but anyway, um, yeah, just recognizing a moment. You are the four seasons, like I said yesterday. You're gonna have the winter, summer, fall, and all of that. It's all gonna come in spring. Spring is so lovely. Those are our moods, and they're always constant. So you can't have one without the other. So basically, it is just the way life is. But something happens as you start to recognize, and you start to ascend, and you feel more the light than the dark. And I am the light right now and I'm feeling the light. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna lay down here right now and just lay down on my couch and share a moment with you. And get really comfortable and say it, you know, just let you know that it's all good. And sometimes you just gotta take a break, you know? Sometimes you just gotta take a break from life and let yourself lay down and just let it all go and let the monkey be right there with you. And just let him have his way and watch him and realize that he's not you because it's a conditioned and conditioned conditioned monkey. And the monkey thinks he knows everything and he doesn't. He just simply doesn't. So, sit back today. Take a moment for yourself. Lay down and let it all just flow and watch and recognize the play and this play, the play of life. The play of life. And it teaches you. No right or wrong, it's all good. But I will leave you today with that. And let you know that I love you and love is forever and unconditional and that's for yourself to realize that the love that you have in your life will make friends with him and it'll all pass and you will always always have a friend in me. <laughs> Enjoy your day and share your light and yeah, experiment with it, you know, and just be conscious and be conscious and let's love each other and appreciate him. Thank you so much for the dance and I will hopefully not see you so much or hear from you so much, certainly not as much as I used to. Have a beautiful day everybody and enjoy your day and thank you for watching and I will take you, I got my heater, I got my heater right here, an extra heater for the house and I'm going to take you and show you winter wonderland and leave you with this image. See my hair is really cute right? That's what I can do. So I'm going to go to work like this today. Ooh.
<laughs> uh, look at it. Look outside. Mmm, it is still... Hello, people. Hello, people. It is still falling. I swear to God, that thing right there, BMW thing, ad was not there yesterday. It was completely different. Was that real? I know it was. Be the one who dares. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Okay, so... Before this gets too long, look at the cars. Can you even see them? So one's red and one's gray, I think. <laughs> All right. I love you guys so much. Have a great day, and thank you for watching me. <laughs>